Saberland. Vader's Vault here with a very exciting announcement. Uh, it happened a little sooner than we anticipated, but sometimes that's just how this goes. Uh, technology in this industry right now is a very rapidly evolving thing. Uh, so things are going to be changing a lot over the next 12, uh, 6 to 12 months. Uh, so keep an eye out for some uh, exciting stuff. But the first of it here is uh, we are announcing Crystal Shard version 4.5. This is a firmware update, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room and uh, say that yes, if you have a Crystal Shard 4.0 equipped saber, you will be able to send it back to us for updating, so you'll be able to take advantage of all the uh, awesome features uh, like the new Spectrum feature and all the uh, Plector Pixel blade effects if you have a Plector Pixel saber. Uh, we do know that there have been quite a few Plector Pixel sabers already shipped, uh, so you can send those back. Uh, for the, to take advantage of both of these awesome features. Uh, just you take care of shipping, we'll take care of the rest, at no cost to you, uh, and then you guys will be able to have some uh, really cool things to play with on the, uh, the, new, the new board features. So, for those of you who have not had their Sabre shipped yet, anything that's still in-house right now is getting currently updated uh, with 4.5. So nothing is leaving from this day forward without being updated to 4.5. So we did hold quite a few Plector Pixel orders from being shipped, uh, just so you know we could get this update on them. If you have an older 4.0 Sabre before Plector Pixel was launched and you have RGB, uh, you probably are gonna also wanna send it back for an upgrade just for the Spectrum feature alone. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into uh, some of the features. Spectrum is the ability to uh, scroll through the different 16 different blade colors without having to keep pressing the buttons. Uh, RGB has been an awesome uh, boon for us in this industry. Uh, customers love it, we love it, it's awesome. Uh, and as we added more and more color profiles, we kind of got to the point where it was a little tedious to keep pressing the buttons, even though that's very intuitive and easy, uh, to scroll through the blade colors. Because if you wanted to go backwards, really quick, you couldn't, you had to go all the way around uh, and, until you get back to the color. So Spectrum was invented uh, in order for you to enter the Spectrum mode with that button press that you're used to, but instead of having to keep pressing the buttons, you would just move the saber up and down on an axis until you get the color you want and then press the auxiliary button again to lock in that color. Very easy, very quick. Uh, it's an extremely, extremely cool feature. Uh, they also, uh, 4.5 added three Plector Pixel blade effects. Uh, so obviously as time goes on and this technology evolves, we will have more, but right now we have three really good ones. We have uh, the unstable blade effect, uh, we have a flame blade effect, and we have a rain sizzle blade effect, which I will demonstrate all three here along with uh, the spectrum feature. Uh, give me a minute and let me uh, turn off the lights so we can get a better idea of what's going on as I knock over everything in the showroom here. <clears throat> All right, so first we're gonna demo the unstable blade effect. Uh, of course, this is uh, very similar to what you might see on screen in the Force Awakens. Uh, this is not, of course, a cross guard saber, but it will be available for collector pixel cross guard stuff, so. <clears throat> as you can see, it has a base blade color. Uh, and then it has the unstable sparks, which use the flash on clash color. Uh, everything is adjustable on the unstable effect, the flame effect, and the rain sizzle effect. You can adjust the length of which the effect is spread across. You can adjust the density of the sparking. Uh, you can adjust the brightness and contrast of the sparking, all of which are in the parameters and will soon be added to the rice program for Crystal Shard 4.5. Uh, so you can also add, uh, adjust uh, with the flicker settings, adjust the speed at which the uh, unstable effect works. Uh, so there are a few different parameters that are new that will be on there, uh, as well there will eventually be a very detailed explanation from Flecker Labs on what each of those parameters do in detail. Um, I can sort of give an idea, but it's really hard until you get into it and you're seeing it in real time, uh, especially by a rice if you've got the Bluetooth upgrade or or whatnot, um, where you can see real time what the different effects parameters are adjusting. Um, so this is the unstable effect. It's a very nice, angry looking, uh, unstable blade. Goes well with uh, fonts like Matt Cow's Unhinged, uh, or even Spitfire, or some of 
the various uh, cross guard based uh, sound fonts on saberfont.com. All right, so then we'll go into um, <clears throat> rain sizzle. Rain sizzle has more of a cooling effect, so as like water drops hitting the blade and sort of sizzling out. So we're going to use Nova Star's rain sizzle sound font, which is perfect for this blade effect. <clears throat> and we've got it set on a blue blade. And of course, this is a, a ambiance-based font, so it has the rain in the background, thunder, sort of uh, the Camino uh, type font. And it has the, uh, the sparks that you see are more of a cooling effect. They actually darken the blade in certain areas uh, to simulate the raindrops hitting the blade. Again, just like the unstable effect, all of that is adjustable, whereas the contrast, the brightness, the amount of sparkles that you see, uh, and the speed. And let's uh, get a uh, quick uh, demo of the um, Spectrum font, or the Spectrum feature, before we uh, view the very last and coolest uh, blade effect, uh, just because there's some fonts in between. So, demo that so you have your blade color. Normally, you would hit the blade, or the uh, two buttons here, to scroll through your blade colors. That feature is still able to be enabled, so if you like the legacy mode of color switching, you can keep that the way it is. But I don't know why you would, because Spectrum is the coolest thing ever. So basically what you do is you press the buttons like normal, like you would go and scroll through. You'll hear the color change noise, but it doesn't do anything until you move the saber. So as you tilt it up on the axis, it'll go through the different blade colors, all 16. And when you hit the one that you want, also makes for a very cool rave effect if you like that, but you hit the one that you want, hit the auxiliary button and it locks it in so it saves that profile so just like normal but this allows you to quickly go back and forth and choose the color that you want a lot quicker so very cool feature this works not only with plector pixel but also standard sun crusher rgb leds so like i said if you have a saber that you've got before we even announce plector pixel spectrum will work for your rgb Crystal Shard 4.0 powered saver. So, definitely want to send that back to us. Let us upgrade that for you. All right, let's take a look at the uh, last and final blade effect. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to use one of Mad Cow's unstable sounding fonts. I'm going to use the Spitfire font because it goes well with the, uh, the Flame Sword. The Flame Sword is a very organic looking blade effect. Uh, it isn't it doesn't do the same thing all the time. It, it, it is random in how it pushes the flames and the, the sparks of the flames up the blade. Um, you can adjust, like I said, um, previous blade effects, you can adjust that density. You can adjust the length that it pushes that flame up the blade. Uh, you can adjust the, the speed at which it does it. Hopefully it's showing up on camera. It's, it's very hard to capture, but it is an extremely cool, very organic, flame effect, um, especially you're walking around at a convention or at a you know Disney Galactic Nights event in the dark, and it will attract all sorts of attention from across the universe. It is extremely cool. Um, I'm actually quite in love with this, with this flame effect. So this is the uh, flame sword. Of course, flash on class and blaster block uh, with the, uh, the bolt effect still work on all of the uh, unstable blade effects uh, that you get with the collector pixel. All right, well that's our big crystal focus or crystal shard announcement 4.5. Thanks to Rob uh, at uh, Genesis Custom Savers for his awesome fonts to play with on this. Uh, he is currently at the Calgary Expo uh, convention uh, showing off and demoing uh, his Sabers with the new 4.5 feature. So if you're in Canada and local to him, please go by, say hello, tell him Vader's Vault said, sell some stuff, and then uh, enjoy your Sabers. And if you are sending your stuff back for us to upgrade for you, keep in mind if we get a thousand people sending Sabers back at the same time, it will sort of slow things down. We can only devote a couple of days a week to doing uh, 
firmware updates like that because it just slows down production. So keep in mind it'll probably be somewhere about a, a seven to 14 day turnaround time on upgrades as long as nothing else is being done to it. If you're sending it back to us for a full on collector pixel upgrade and all of that, it will take longer. But if it's just a firmware update, uh, expect around seven to 14 days for us to get that updated, tested, boxed up, sent back out to you. Thanks again from Vader's Vault. Enjoy your savers.